What's up? This is Kevin Zahner, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how I've been making templates in the new Google Sites. Now, Google Sites doesn't have an actual template tool that I know about, uh, but I've been just making design chunks that I've been copying and pasting for consistency from one lesson to another, and even one course site to another. So let's take a look at it. For those of you who are not familiar with Google Sites, the new Google Sites, you can go sites.google.com forward slash new, hit enter, and it takes you to a dashboard. On this dashboard, I'm going to open up Modern World History. And in this, this particular course site, I have a few uh, different pages that I'm using to build the site. Now, one of the pages is called Templates. And I've actually made the Templates page hidden from the rest of the navigation. To do that, if you hover over a page, there's three vertical dots on the right. And there's all these different options you can, you can do. Uh, now, you can hide navigation in this case. And when that happens, you have a, an icon that's a link icon with a, with a line through it. So we're going to check this templates page, which, by the way, I'll remind you, this is just a page that I call templates. That's it. Uh, and in this templates page, I've been just pasting and keeping uh, my design chunks that I'm using throughout the, the site. For example, think over here on Russian Revolution. On lesson one, I think there's a multiple choice quiz yeah right here so when they get to this point in the lesson they know there's a multiple choice quiz and it's going to be with Google Forms and that'll be delivered to them through Google Classroom it's just in this particular question this this part of the assessment is a Google Classroom question I always put the actual question that they should find there uh, but the symbols really help them to know what tool they're going to need to use uh, to to complete the quiz so we're not passing out papers like we used to, so we have to do something uh, to, to help them um, you know, remember, you know, visualize what they're going to actually be doing, what tool they're going to be using. So to keep it consistent and not have to make this every time, I've just pasted these chunks, uh, including my map study, Quizlet, uh, when we do a project, it's there, there's even one for a podcast, we do a few of those and homework, which is what got me thinking I should probably share what I'm doing here uh, with YouTube. I've learned so many great things from other YouTube videos, and uh, I'm sure I'm probably going to learn something from um, some of the viewers of this particular video. So if you do have any ideas, and you see that I'm doing something wrong or right or something you like, or it, you, it made you think of another way we could do it, please, in the comments below, just you know, add that. It's going to help other viewers. It's going to help me. And that's really why we're doing this in, in the first place. So I'm actually going to transfer these by selecting them. And I know they're selected when the blue box illuminates all around it. I'm going to control C to copy it and go to this other site, another course site, and paste it in that templates page. Okay, I'm just going to go back and forth a few times here. I got Quizlet. Now we have some uh, videos, some video homework here. Uh, I'm not big on, on lots of homework. In fact, I tell my students, if you spend more than 15 minutes on the homework, just stop, and we'll, talk, we'll figure out what's going on. You know, honest minutes, not five minutes on YouTube and five minutes on this homework and five minutes playing with your pet rat. That's not 15 minutes. I mean, 15 honest minutes dedicated to the homework. Uh, if it's more than that, then we'll try to figure out what's going on there. But really, this is this is a good piece of communication uh, to families, to parents, um, and a little bit of added practice outside of school. Sometimes kids just need to think about this stuff a little bit, a few minutes, in a different place. Okay, hours of homework, not my thing. These kids need to live their lives. So back to the tools here. So we're we're going to add these. This particular. Um, this particular chunk right here to a lesson on the age of Jackson. Okay, Now, I always have a hard time getting it exactly where I want it. I want it just below this one right here. So I wonder, you know, what am I doing wrong? If I control V and paste, it goes to the bottom. Please, in the comments, if you know how to fix that or you know what's going on, what I'm doing wrong, please help me out. But I just grabbed it, grab it on the side on the left, and look for the, the bar to illuminate, okay? And I know that it's going to go right where I want it, okay? Now, the video that's going to go here, uh, the students can access the video through the form, 
But I always like to put the video there anyway. So I'm going to grab this video. It's a Ted Ed video. It's a great video um, with very good questions. Uh, and just paste it here by double clicking, clicking the URL tool, Control V, paste it in, wait till it loads, insert, and then it's there. Now, um, oh, <laughs> it's there on the wrong site. Let's put it on the right site. Um, right there. There we go. So, same process. I just got, I clicked on the wrong tab apparently. But here we go. Now, it's right where, where it belongs. This is the, the proper lesson. It's on Jackson. We did the reading before. Um, now, what's great about this is the parents can see this site and they can see that that's the homework and this is the video and it's nice for them to you know, watch the video, have a conversation with their child. Sometimes they call me up and say, hey, you know, I'm really interested in this or that. Uh, and Or I have a friend who's a historian. This is how we all connect. So uh, what better way to connect than making a site to show the world what we're doing? Okay, so, you know, I'm not huge on uh, doing lots of homework, like I said, but, you know, a little bit of communication to home goes a long way. Uh, it goes a long way and gives students opportunity. Let's Let's view this. We've published it. Uh, we can take a look at it. Um, we can take a look at this site, U.S. History 1. And it's the age of Jackson. So these sites are, are pretty easy to use across platforms or, or even devices. It's really kind of nice. Um, it's right where we want it. And in class, I might pull up a chunk of that video if the students didn't do very well uh, on, on a particular question um, you know we're gonna we'll pull it up so it's also very nice for me to teach from this site so uh, thank you for watching I hope this helped if you have any other uh, tips for viewers please put them in the comments below uh, links um, suggestions uh, if you saw something that I was doing that, that that wasn't right or you have a better idea I'd love to hear it um, and the viewers would too. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, uh, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.